There are over 380 bridges in Clackamas County. 178 are managed and maintained by the Transportation Maintenance Division, which has been busy in recent years improving aging bridges and dismantling out-of-date structures entirely. On top of that, Clackamas County is responsible for over 1,400 miles of road and handles over 5,000 public service requests per year. There's a lot of work to be done to keep our roadways and bridges safe. But beyond everyday wear and tear, there is one issue that every bridge is vulnerable to, and that's bridge scour. When you look at a bridge from a safety standpoint, it, it, it covers the spectrum. We just literally break the bridge down into elements. We look at everything from signage, we look at whether the road or the deck is rough or not rough, whether it's got holes or not holes in it. The other side of the issue is environmental, and that's scour, which is basically Mother Nature do, doing her thing. It's water, because most of our bridges are around water. And when you concentrate water into a, an area, the velocities increase, and when that happens, all kinds of things can start happening. We can affect columns, piers, abutments if they're close enough, and it's, it's all the same process. Basically what you're doing is you're eroding soils, or eroding rock, or eroding whatever that base is, moving it out of the way, and that exposes footings, exposes pilings to all kinds of conditions that are that won't help prolong the life of the bridge. We do all kinds of things when we look at actual scour projects. Some of them are to refill what was there. Some of them are to try to lock the channel in so that we can protect the banks, protect the channel, protect the bridge from further erosion. Every bridge and every situation is different and um, basically we have a team of people that we put together that discuss all those and then figure out what our plan of action is going to be and taking all the issues that we do from permitting to engineering side to right of way to all kinds of things that it would take to help fix that problem. We're doing two projects on Rock Creek. They're side by side. One's on Foster Road and one's on Troge Road. And one of them, erosion has taken place where we've ended up getting an island that's built up and by doing that, the stream when it moved chased and put itself right against the back wall of one of the bridges. So what's happened is that water is eroded and cut a channel, exposing the footing on one of the abutments. On the Foster Road project, the idea is let's go ahead and open that channel back up, see if we can't, with a series of rock rears this time, that will actually move the channel, help hold the channel, so that we can get it going through the middle of the bridge and that creek is going to be able to go through and not continue to erode where it's eroding. Our intent is to always, you know, leave the stream or the creek in as good or better condition environmentally speaking. We always take on uh, the role and have the desire to improve things while we're there. So. Uh, we'll improve fish passage, we'll install bat boxes under bridges. Part of the process on just about any uh, in-water work project is we'll get in and, and we do uh, our fish salvage. Fish don't just, you know, disappear into thin air, they, they start hitting the tributaries and and going up and spawning. And uh, usually it's a few of the, the bridge team members uh, that are manning nets. And we'll run the electro fisher through our, through our uh, isolated project area. And we'll get out every single last fish, aquatic organism that we can find in the project area. that was affected by, by the scour issue um, is Beaver Lake Bridge. It's on Henry C. Road. And what started the process of having to do a scour repair on that is there was an old pipeline that 
went across the creek and it was encased in concrete. Concrete acted as a block, diverted the water, ate the bank away on both sides of the bridge, hit it one side till it ate a bunch away, bounced it to the other side of the caused a big hole, big blow out of the bank as that water was trying to relieve itself. We have a lot of, of uh, erosion issues even in the channel right underneath the bridge. And so the process of that scour project is removing that pipe that's blocking the outflow so the water has freedom to go and then Basically what we're going to end up doing is lining the whole creek bottom with rock upstream and downstream for where we have right away and we're going to put a series of weirs in there which basically go across the stream, a series of them, and what we're going to do is make a series of ponds. So we're actually, when we have another high water event, the velocities that have caused the problem won't be causing them because that water is going to is now going to have these ponds that are going to keep the water velocities down enough and allow that water to go underneath the bridge and, and get away and it will protect it for quite a, quite a few years in the future. on Milk Creek, um, outside the uh, little town of Molino. What's happened over the course of time is the stream has moved closer and closer and closer and closer to the road. And the road is, and that particular thing is kind of on a curve and it's protected by some guardrail. And what's happened is, as the creek comes in at high flows, it's eating all the material away from the back of the guardrail. So there's really no protection for the guardrail. And is starting to get to the point where it's affecting the road. We can't move the road anymore from where it's at. So the process of the Mill Creek issue is it's bank stabilization that's caused by the scour and the creek and high flows eating that material away. So to stabilize that bank, stabilize the creek from eating any more of it, that's what the pillar walls are designed to do. But what that does is it actually builds that shoulder or that bank back out to where it originally was and then we'll move the creek away from that problem and so we don't we won't have that same erosion problem and therefore we can go ahead and restore the guardrail that's there and the width of the road and motoring public is gonna be gonna be just fine driving back and forth. Another project that we've, we've had in the works for a while is a bridge uh, over Parrot Creek on Central Point Road. And it's a meandering stream. What has happened over the course of time is this creek has meandered. We've had a few high water events and it's concentrated the water. So when it starts picking up all these particles and these rocks as it's eroding it, that, those gravels have to go somewhere. So they're going to go downstream until they slow down enough and then they settle. Well, if what ends up happening is you end up blocking the channel where those settlement islands go, you end up causing problems because now there's not enough outflow for that water to go through normally. And so in this case, the, the, the solution to this was to rent a spider hole, which because the banks are so steep, we don't really have access to the creek bottom where we need to get to. And what a spider hoe does is it's, it's got little legs that can go out so they can basically climb straight down an embankment. What we try to do is we just try to even the river bottom and open that up so that channel's now full so we, we, we don't have that same problem and that helps stop that erosion problem. We have a five-year 
uh, transportation system plan which identifies projects that we need to accomplish. With scour issues potentially undermining bridges, you can have catastrophic loss. The cost of uh, scour prevention projects varies between twenty and sixty thousand dollars depending on uh, how much you need to do for your scour protection. A new bridge replacement can cost anywhere starting at four hundred to five hundred thousand and then it goes uh, much above that. A bridge is at stake, you know, this, this is how you and your neighbors get home on a daily basis. If we don't do this, the bridge could fail. Uh, if the bridge fails, we're talking about a whole bunch more taxpayer dollars to correct it.